How many of us find ourselves scrolling through Facebook, going through our friends' check-ins and updates, and thinking to ourselves, wow, these people are living happy lives. <laughs> <laughs> but in reality, these friends of ours are actually strangers we've only met once or twice. And if we were to pass them on the street, we probably wouldn't even say hello. Today's technologies allow us to stay connected with hundreds and even thousands of people across the globe. What do these connections even do for us? Do they allow us to stay in contact with people we normally wouldn't be able to? In most cases, yes. Do they, do they also allow us, do they also make us think of how uneventful and unaccomplished our own lives are compared to the people around us? Today I want to speak about how social networking sites have made our culture more narcissistic, self-centered, and thus happy. Social networking sites allow us to control the way we are perceived by other people. We can control the way we look, what we say, and indirectly what other people say, by choosing the people that we allow to view our profiles. And of course, we never want to be seen in a negative light, so we tend to over-exaggerate the happy events and under-exaggerate or completely leave out the embarrassing or sad events. The writers of social psychology say, when you're behind a keyboard, you can't see the changing expressions on someone's face or hear the difference different tones of voice that are so crucial to non human nonverbal communication. When we're scrolling through Facebook or any other social networking site, we see, all, we see all these highlights and exciting updates from people that we hardly know traveling the world or getting engaged. These highlights are, create an illusion that the people around us are always happy and remind ourselves that we, are, we aren't. On the average, the human social network consists of 125 members. But the average user on Facebook has 217 friends. This makes it more difficult for us to have close connections with every one of our friends, and we only rely on these highlights to give us an interpretation of what their life is really like. In a study done by social psychologists Grace Cho and Nicholas Edge, the more, people, the more time people spend on Facebook, the more likely we are to be unhappy and unsatisfied with our lives. So you see, technology may have allowed us to make the world seem like a smaller place where we sacrifice having close connections with the people around us and replace them with highlights or snippets to give us a picture of what their lives are like. The more happy we see other people, the less likely we are to be satisfied with ourselves. Thank you. All right, I like the questioning at the beginning, and uh, you're pretty clear on your topic, although it does sound like it has multiple parts to it because we're narcissistic, narcissistic uh, self is involved, which basically is narcissistic, and less happy. So that you've got cult, multiple claims that are going on there. I think you want to focus on one of them. I did like that you had uh, good quotes at the beginning talking about an inverse relationship between uh, people's happiness and the time that they spend online. I thought that was pretty effective. Uh, I also liked uh, the statistics that you had on the average number of social networks that people had in their social networks. I thought that was uh, pretty solid. There's some other information too, but I'm not sure if it fits into other categories. So I've got you checked off on the testimony in the statistics section. There's maybe some connection to examples, but those are mostly hypotheticals that you're presenting. You know, <coughs> excuse me. 
If any of them are actual examples, it would be better to cite them so that we could get you full credit on that. I did think that you gave good source citations for the material that you did present. I liked that uh, pretty well. I thought it was organized nicely. It did feel like it sh kind of shut down a little bit quicker, a little bit sooner than I was expecting it to. Uh, on the presentation, you, you kind of sound like you're rushing. You need to slow down a little bit, and you need to project your voice just a little bit. You know, those will be things that will help you down the road. All right, thank you. And don't forget to like me on Facebook. <laughs>